today will be going over uh, the drum kit that rides around my car on a daily basis. Uh, I've n I'm not an EMT or a paramedic, but I have had some certified first aid courses over the years. Um, if you look at the bag, it has some reflective uh, on the side uh, in dark environments. Also has a first aid symbol, and it has um, two side compartments and main compartment. It's uh, secured by a flap with two buckles and Velcro. You open up, it has some uh, connectors on the inside, and then two flaps here into the main compartment. So we'll go from here and open it up and show you what's inside. So here we have the uh, bag. You lift up with the Velcro after it's been unbuckled. And you see on the main flap we have triple M bioholiment and some eye drops. And they open up the two smaller flaps. I got some higher cortisone cream, some scissors. You also notice this pouch up front. I include things I might need right away, such as gloves, a CPR mask, some medical tape, some cling tape, some a box of uh, some safety gl uh, gloves, some band aids, and then a cheap box of uh, face masks. Um, as you're looking at the inside of the, the main compartment of the bag, uh, you notice there's the bag and then it uh, has a divider and holder to keep everything upright and nice and neat for you. Along the edges I've included a Sammy splint. I made sure to uh, cut the directions out when it was all rolled up. I have those included in case I'm not the one using the first aid kit. So I have the Sammy splint there. In it I also have an N95 respirator mask. I have nothing on the side pockets here. Up front I have a first aid manual. Again, if I'm not using it or if there's something I don't know about, I can look it up in there. And I also have two big non-stick pads uh, that are 3 by 8 inches. So that keeps the uh, dressing from coagulating to the skin if you have to change dressing without a big wound. So put those back there. Um, next we're going to go over this compartment. Um, what I have in here is just dressing. This is your bleeding and it needs to stop. So right off the bat I have some cotton dressings just to be pulled out if I need it like good to go. Er, right off the bat if there's an emergency I need to stop and pull it out. I don't have time to mess with bags. I have included four of the surgical dressings which are five by nine inches and then one uh, roll of uh, gauze. Next, I've included uh, everything else is in bags, uh, except for the Israeli dressing. Um, so this is like a giant pressure dressing. It can be used on your legs, your arms, possibly your uh, abdomen. I also have another bag of just surgical dressings and another roll of this in here. Um, also in here I have a large band-aids and I've labeled this large band-aids. Here I have small gauze, 2x2, two two, and I've labeled that. Then here I have gauze of sorted sizes. I have 2x2s, two 3x3s, two, three and 4x4s. Four in there I have some Cellox. Uh, it's a coagulant and it's kind of like quick clot except it's in a packet granulated form, so a sponge. Then I also have this and it's labeled special dressings. So I have Vaseline dressing, some Tegaderm, some Steri strips, and a lot more of the non-stick pads, the Telfa pads, that kind of thing in there. So we're going to take a break. I'm going to put all this back in there, and we're going to move to the next apartment. So uh, now we're back. We got all the gauze and dressings back in here. We're looking at this pocket, and here I have some a box of Tegaderm. It's off-brand, but what I use it for, uh, there are some take a derm in here I keep nice and neat. I use it to store some utensil or uh, tools. So here I have an eye uh, pupil checking light. I also have a um, thermometer, a pair of uh, clamps, safety pins, and another pair of scissors. So that's what I have in there. Then I also have um, three tongue depressors in here. I have a pack of uh, glucose gel for um, diabetics in case I cross, come across someone who is having a diabetic problem. I have an EpiPen. I have an uh, anaphylactic allergy to uh, seafood. So I carry this around with me at all times. I have an extra one in this kit. I also have a tourniquet in here. And then I have a small bottle of water in case I 
don't have any water and I come across someone who is uh, really in need of some water. Here I have alcohol pads and betadine pads. Here I have some other small band-aids. I also have a bottle of saline solution. If I need to rinse someone's eye or use it as a wound rinse, I will do that too. So I'm going to take all this stuff now and put it back in the pouch and we'll be right back for the next pocket. So YouTube, we're back. Um, one thing I forgot to mention in the blue potatoderm box, I have some ammonia uh, inhalants. If someone's passed out, you need to wake them up. That's what those are for. I keep them there, keep them from getting crushed. Next, we're going to move on to this pocket. Um, here I have a triangular bandage. I have another small tourniquet in here. And then I have a long rolled gauze. This is really good for if they have a piercing wound or if you just need to wrap a burn or something. That's what this is great for. I also have a large ace bandage, a small ace bandage, two small uh, rolled gauze, and a small, um, more fluffy rolled gauze. So this is a small curl X, this is a big curl X. It's not their actual names, these are off brand. That's what we have going on here. So next uh, I'm going to put this stuff back and we're going to look at the side pockets. So we're here with the kit, we got back assembled together and we're going to be looking at the outside pockets. The pockets are about the size of two of my fists here and we're going to look at uh, this side and this side. Um, if you look, it has two zippers. So first off we'll look at the side on my right, your left. We're looking at it and this is like the pill compartment. I left them in the boxes because I don't want to just hand someone a pill and be like, here take these, that needs to be up to them if they don't know or are not familiar with them. They can read a little about them. This is anti-diarrhea. Um, it's knockoff Imodium. This is an allergy relief. This is knockoff Zyrtec. This is allergy relief and it's knockoff Benadryl. Also, I have a, a bottle here of aspirin. So, we'll put these aside. The now we're going to move over to this side. This side I have um, an emergency blanket in case I come across a car wreck or something, someone's in shock. I have this for them. They also could be really cold outside. Um, so we have that. Also, in here I have airways on the outside, easily accessible. And I have all the sizes from uh, newborn infant to really big adult. So, got that there. I also have a hot hands toe warmer, it's a small little one. If they're in shock, it's really cold outside, it gives them a little warmth. And then finally in here, I have a seat belt cutter. If they're injured in their car and they can't move, you might not want to move them. It might make their back injury possibly worse. Um, but if they're good and the seatbelt's just locked up, they need out, or if the car's on fire and you have to remove them, this is a seatbelt cutter to cut it and get them out. Hi YouTube, thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, please subscribe and share below. Uh, if you have any comments about the first aid kit, we and below, we'll be glad to answer them. If you have any friends, tell them about this video, it would really help us out. Stay tuned for more great videos from us, the bros. Have a good day.